Hey everyone, Trigger Knight here. So this is episode 12 of my Zer series. If you have not watched any of my Zer series, um, what it is is where I go every Friday to check out what Zer Agent of the Nine is selling and um, just give my advice on what I think you should and should not buy. So, anyways, guys, he's located down here near the Vanguard table in the tower. This is where he's at. And uh, recently, guys, I've been on Xbox quite a bit, grinding up my account with Ruzard and uh, SSJ Pete. We've been trying to um, get it to where we're available to do carries on either Xbox or PS4. Had a lot of Xbox One uh, users asking for carries, and I just started thinking, like, hey, I actually originally played Destiny on the Xbox One, found out that the competitive scene was all on the PS4. That's when I decided to get a PS4 and never looked back. Now I'm going to actually do both consoles and do carries on the weekend. And uh, Ru and I are also uh, we're also going to be coming out with a website um, that has um, basically a lot to do with like our videos and stuff about us, as well as a um, Sherpa of Destiny service where we, as well as other Sherpas we can find, um, do carries to the lighthouse. Um, there's going to be different packages as far as like what to offer. Um, don't worry, there is free packages. But it is going to require stuff such as, you know, like follow on Twitter, Instagram, and a subscribe on YouTube, as well as a follow on Twitch. Something like, you know, four or five social media, three, four or five social media follows or subs. Um, I know that Twitch, uh, you know, the sub on there, it costs money. So it'd be a YouTube subscribe, um, as well as a Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter follow. Maybe just those four things um, for like a free carry. Um, if you're above a certain KD, maybe because like really to be honest, like even some of the best players in Destiny struggle when they're carrying people that are like a point two or point three KD. Rue and I have tried; we have not succeeded. Um, in the couple of times that we have, the maps were not preferable when we did try. So who's you know who knows if we were to try on a map, um, even such as Asylum last weekend, we did a carry, but the kid was you know he held his own for most of the matches, and really all we need is someone that you know is available to listen and you know follow instructions as well as you know hold your own in case you you know come into a one-on-one -on -one situation or at least know how to disengage and stay alive um the 0.3.2 kd kids that we carried didn't have very good communication they didn't listen one didn't even call out it was very difficult um and that is like you know top top players in destiny that that's you know matches they or carries they would struggle you know completing um, people that you're probably familiar with, like uh, Lab or Crafty, Wish, you know, Psychopanic Gigs, any of them guys that, you know, are top on, uh, you know, Luminosity, whatever, who, you know, there's a lot of streamers out there. I'm not sure, you know, which ones are doing mostly, you know, a ton of carries. I know Crafty does, uh, Wish, your, uh, Wish You Luck does, um, Lab, you know, Lucky and Butt Wipe, they do. But even those kids that are, you know, have been doing it for a really long time and are very successful, they would have a hard time, guys, if you do not listen and you do not call out and you are not able to stay alive. There's a lot of things that Sherpas don't ask you to do. They don't ask you to go out there and get kills. They don't ask you to, you know, to clutch it, to win matches and stuff. They'll do that. We will do that. But we definitely need y'all to listen. So sorry, guys, for that uh, rant for a couple minutes. Anyways, guys, that's what I've been up to. But without further ado, the reason why you're here... Zer video, guys. Um, let's jump into it. All right, guys. This is episode twelve, as I've uh, said already, and um, he is located down near the Vanguard table at the tower. So let's jump right in. All right. So uh, Legacy Ingram is the Ingram uh, for the week. It's not ex. Uh, uh, it's an exotic that's year one, non infusible to year two, um, or year three now. Um, so it is not really useful. It's not something that you're going to want. It's not, I mean, it is an exotic Ingram, but it doesn't say exotic Ingram, meaning it's not going to drop up to 400 light. It's only going to drop up to 170 light, um, and it's not infusible. The only thing it really could do for you is it can put you an exotic up on this wall. So uh, uh, that's a weapon side, sorry. Rip. All right, so exotic armor. So if I were to buy those legs and I were to get the year one boots. Oh, there is, see, there wasn't even year one boots for the. Uh, the warlock there was only year one gauntlets let's say hypothetically it was year one gauntlets okay so let's say something i have discovered nothing manacles okay i were to get this nothing manacles right here at 170 see where it says requires discovery that means that i would discover it that means that i would have the discovery for it therefore i could get the year three technically year two it says year two nothing manacles and infuse that up to 400 light so there's a little bit of like stuff you have to do if you get this and there's nothing saying you'll actually get what you're wanting if you buy this like for example let's say for the hunter i want bones of ao that's the only leg armor that i would run um and it would be on my hunter 
I'm on my Warlock right now. I probably actually have a better chance of getting Bones being on my Warlock. Because if you watched any of my previous episodes, um, I was trying to get the Light Beyond Nemesis. So I, I um, gambled for two weeks in a row where the Legacy Ingram was a helmet. I tried five times. Only two of them were even Warlocks. And zero of them were the uh, Light Beyond Nemesis. So terrible, terrible rate. But I didn't you know, have any need to get my three of coins because I had plenty. And so I wanted to do the gamble and I lost. So guys, stay away from this. It's really not useful. Um, it's not needed, and it's definitely not worth 29 uh, strange coin. Anyways, guys, moving on. The uh, Titan armor for the week is the Glass House. This is extremely useful in raids. PVE-oriented um, armor piece right here, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely look into that if you're um, looking to do some PVE, raids, strikes, whatever, and you are a Titan. Next, guys, we got Shinobu's Vow. Ironically, uh, Rue was actually wanting this for a really long time, months ago, whenever he was a uh, running blade, and it is extremely good. Skip Grenade is uh, one of the top grenades in Destiny right now in the PvP, uh, in the Crucible and in Trials and, you know, Sweats even, and this, you know, even though you can't use Exotic Armor and Sweats, in Trials and Crucible you can, and uh, Shinobu's Vow is one of the top uh, armor pieces to wear because of the Skip Grenade, you know, gaining an additional tracker, and uh, being improved so you know you also get a or it's improved as well as an additional charge sorry um so you get two of them they're awesome they're very useful if uh one tags you and you're not able to get away it's definitely going to put you down to uh absolute one shot um so extremely good weapon that's some more of a pvp oriented uh armor piece uh next is the ram for the warlock uh and it's actually probably i would say one of the more popular ones especially whenever it um was first around, you gain an additional armor and all Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. Now, lifesteal got nerfed on the last update, guys, on the patch for the sandbox patch. Uh, and I'll show you right here. There it is. I actually have Surge because I was doing PvE. I'm glad I checked that out. Wow. All right, Alex got it. All right, cool. I need to change my build real quick. Alright, so that's my PvP. So lifesteal, guys. Damaging an enemy with energy drain immediately restores a significant portion of your health. It used to give you an overshield. Now it doesn't. It gives you health. Just like uh, Hungering Blade. That was the whole Hungering Blade nerf. They did it to uh, a few other things as well, including lifesteal. Also did it to, in case you haven't noticed, uh, to embrace the void. Therefore, I run Void Tech's Mastery now. So, whatever. Um, nerfing the hell out of my class. Anyways, so the Rams pretty cool it's um it's a nice looking exotic i actually don't have it so might as well i'm just gonna buy it just to have it um because i'm in a warlock now but uh honestly it's not anything super special and so it's not something that is gonna do a whole lot for you now with the patch and the way that uh life still has been nerfed it will help and maybe if you have life still on as well as this well technically no um all void walker melee so even i guess when you don't have uh, your melee, if you just melee them, life steal will trigger. So actually, that's that's pretty good actually. If that's true, I haven't tested it out. So like I said, I've never run exotic armor except for light beyond nemesis, fast res armor to help out for trials. When it comes to um, to armor on my warlock, so I'm not sure if that would work if you don't have your melee charge. I would think it would, just because if you had your melee charge, it would kind of be pointless because you'd already get life steal. So um, that's actually could be a very very good armor piece even with the nerf um, if you automatically get it you know even when you don't have your melee charge because then you could run a full discipline strength like a five five two build and never worry because you had the ram so anyways guys um, and quick if you don't know what I'm talking about by five five two you have up to five tiers in each one of these three categories so five five two would mean you had complete cooldown on both your intellect as well as discipline getting it as quick as possible and then only two tiers on your strength which would be, in my case, 49 seconds, which is a decent amount of time to wait, but the RAM would give it to me instantly. That would be amazing. Um, so I'll have to look into that, test that out in customs or whatever. The weapon for the week is Telesto. That's kind of annoying because usually um, whenever you have the weapon for the week, you tend to see it a decent amount in the Crucible and Trials uh, for the weekend, and Telesto is hella annoying. I literally hate fusion rifles so much. I understand that they're unique to Destiny, but I seriously don't like them one bit. Um, they're annoying to deal with and so anyways guys I don't think it's that great, but if you're one of those fusion rifle kids you really like it go ahead and jump on that um, Moving on we got the vehicle drives um, Stay away from them unless you just want to be unique and you know waste strange coin on something I always say that I'm not into that But if you are go ahead and go for it 
These two right here, definitely grab, especially this one, if you're looking to do some raids or strikes, PvE. Um, guys, does not work in the Crucible, does not work in Trials. Um, this right here, three coins, always my preferred item for the week, as it helps your chances for exotic drops. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on that. Then, guys, we got glass needles if you want to change the properties of any of your exotic armor. And then we got mode of light and exotic shards. So, guys, exotic shards can be very useful if you're infusing exotics because you have to have one exotic shard every time you do an uh, fuse with the exotic, whether it's weapon or armor. And uh, anyways, guys, sorry for the rambling. Um, it's over a 10 and a half minute video. I'm sorry for that. Usually I want to try to keep them around five or six minutes. Um, anyways, guys, kind of had a little bit of a rant with trials and sherpas and stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video if you're still watching. As always, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in trials this weekend. Uh, tune in for our stream, me and Rue, if we decide to stream um, and try to jump on that list for free carries. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.